Welcome to Thankful Thursday. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. It's not really Thankful Thursday. It's Thankful Sunday, I guess. Hold on, let me go and uh, close the door of this room. We'll get started. So this was kind of an impromptu Thankful Thursday. If you don't know me, I'm Bernina Expert Amanda Murphy. I'm an expert uh, for the Q series, which is sitting right over here. Um, but I decided to hop on today. Usually I do tutorials, et cetera, on the Q series. And I will be showing you some quilting today, although not actually um, quilting on camera. I wanted to address a lot of questions that I've been getting regarding the Bloom and uh, Grow uh, quilt and how I quilted it and um, all the different things about Bloom and Grow. So if you don't know about Bloom and Grow, um, it's a new quilt that um, is be, that I wrote in conjunction with Bernina. So it's a commission piece that looks like this. And the only reason I'm broadcasting today is I have to send it off to Bernina. I have some pictures. I'll be showing you this up close. Um, but it's a quilt that was pieced completely on the serger. So there's a new um, Bernina Serger, which is the L890 Quilters Edition. And this piece was commissioned for that. And it just started rolling out um, in the United States. It's a United States um, product. And because of that, I've been getting all these questions, tons and tons of tons of questions. This quilt, this Bloom and Grow quilt, which I'm going to put on screen right here. And then I have to remember which side to go on so I can talk to you guys. Okay, this was a commission piece by Bernina. And I worked with the director of the overlockers or the sergers, Pam Mashi, to develop this quilt. And it is a 64-page pattern. And yes, it is written by me. And no, you cannot buy it from me. Okay, so here's where I'm getting all these questions because people know I wrote the patterns and then they write me about it. But really... This is a Bernina project, okay? So the idea behind it was to develop a quilt <clears throat> that showed all the really dynamic things you can do with thread with a searcher. So, um, and I'll be taking questions. If you guys, um, hello, Joanne. I asked her to tune in because I know she can see comments and can answer them. Um, Joanne's a Bernina educator, but we've been friends for years. Um, so the the idea was we wanted to develop something for you guys, for quilters. So actually, in this case, I am the customer. Like, I know a lot about quilting and piecing, but I know just enough about surging to be dangerous, and Bernina knows it right? So they team me with Pam Mashey, who's the director of searchers, to develop this quilt for you guys. And I realize on Instagram, it may show weird because this is going to be cropped off, but to develop this quilt. And so what happened between the two of us last year is Pam came up with all these techniques that she wanted to be incorporated in a quilt, okay? And then I designed a quilt that would incorporate all those techniques. And then I took a stab at writing, writing the directions for a quilt. And you guys who follow me, if you don't follow me, you can find me at Amanda Murphy Design on YouTube. I'm um, just search for Amanda Murphy Design, Amanda Murphy Design on Instagram. And I have a Facebook group called Quilting with Amanda Murphy. Um, make sure you answer the questions, at least the first two, so I know you're not a robot when you apply to that group. But anyway, um, we decided we were gonna um, do this quilt for this new machine, which comes with a bunch of like some extra feet and it's it's um, even a little quieter. Um, and I already had an L890, but as I said, I know enough to be dangerous. So I wrote the pattern for someone like me who is comfortable, pretty comfortable with piecing, um, but you know, every section is written, it's written in three columns that every section has how you should thread it, what settings your machine should be on, um, what foot you should use, because like that's where I feel lost. When I got in a serger, I don't always know. Now, the L890, just in general, whether it's a quilting edition or not, it has a screen that kind of tells you what to do. And you can put it in this guided mode that makes it really easy, right? 
Um, however, I still feel a little uncomfortable. So this pattern really walks you through it. But even better, Bernina filmed a class for you guys in their skill hub for it. So, hey, everyone's, fr oh, everyone's to me and from all over. Thank you. It's, and this features my Botanica collection. You guys see it's, you said it's really cute. So Bernina bought enough fabric and kits so that every single person who buys a quilter's edition, which is on sale now at your Bernina dealer, gets the kit and they get the online class and they get the extra threads. It's all part of a bundle with this new machine. In the machine, I forgot to preload the picture of it. It's really pretty, it's white, it's very pristine looking. Um, so they get all of that as part of the bundle, right? So that is shipping now. Joanne, can you look, um, how do you access the skill hub? I think you just would search Bernina skill hub. Can you look at that? Okay, so Bernina filmed after I wrote it with Pam Mashi, the director of Overlockers, she's like the queen of searching. She knows everything there is to know. So you guys, I have really good tech support if I have a problem because I know a lot of people in the searching <laughs> world and I'm not afraid to show all the stuff I don't know because there's a lot. So um, Bernina, there's several versions of this quilt that were out there and Bernina filmed it. Mary Beck, who's the educator for sergers with Bernina, films this class in the skill hub. So now that people are starting to see the quilt and see the machine and all these things, um, there's a lot of questions that I'm getting. So I wanted to clear up some questions, okay? I did not film the skill hub, that was Bernina. You don't want me filming the skill hub. I filmed the quilting, so I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so there's all these questions that happen, um, are happening and I wanna make it really clear to you guys. Okay, so first of all, there's a lot of people who are writing me who say I already have the L890, right? And I want to do this quilt. How can I do that? Okay. And I have a lot of people writing me wanting kits, which I can't supply. But I'm going to tell you how it's going to work. Okay. Um, so basically, as I said, Bernina bought enough kits for everyone who is buying this quilter's edition machine. But they also printed extra patterns. And the original plan was that they'd be out in quarter four, but they're gonna ship the extra patterns early for people who already own the serger and want to do this quilt, okay? So they've already thought of that. They have extra patterns for you. If they need more extra patterns, I'm sure they would be happy to print them, okay? Unlike when I usually print my own patterns, this was a Bernina project. So I sent the print off to Bernina and they printed it. And it's Bernina of America, right? I'll try to get to all the questions about this. Okay. They printed extra um, patterns. Now, the fabric. The fabric is indeed, if you go to your shop and you'd say, I want to do the kits, you are going to be waiting a few weeks for the fabric, okay? The fabric is on its way over in, well, more fabric is on its way over in a boat. In a boat, And your shop, if they get enough requests, your Bernina dealer could buy the fabric and kit it. But I want everyone to calm down about the fabric because there is more coming at the end of March. So it's coming the last week in March, but it still would need to be bolted. Um, so it's probably mid-April. There's gonna be a lot more fabric, okay? Um, so I, I'm getting panicked emails, you know, how can I do this quilt? I can't find the fabric, et cetera. There's more fabric coming. They ordered a whole lot more. It's just on the boat still. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you want to do it, tell your deal you're interested. So they order the fabric and can cut you a kit. They can't order the kit from Bernina. They can order the pattern from Bernina, but they have to kit it themselves. But remember, you're only waiting a few weeks for this, right? Um, the cotton shot, a lot of these SKUs sold out, um, but Better Techs knew this early so that it's already on order, it's on the boat, it's all done, okay? So, okay, you guys are from all over. I am going to be showing some of the quilting today, just giving you an overview. 
Um, but you guys know I'm always running. Be I am so behind. It's just ridiculous. I should be right now doing um, editing those videos for the petals and leaves that were due basically last summer, and I still don't have them done. I filmed them. Yay! But I have to edit the video. I filmed this as well. I filmed myself quilting this on a frame, but it's still, you know, quilting it. Um, and I will be writing a blog post for Bernina USA about the quilting portion of it. So the lessons for the piecing with, that show you all the serger things are on the skill hub. And either if you buy a quilter's edition, this new machine from Bernina, you get those for free. If not, those lessons are available as an added purchase. And don't ask me how much. I have no idea. Okay. Um, so that is all coming. I will be doing a formal video that will be posted on We All Show, but of course I will share it into my Facebook group, et cetera, um, once it goes public. I have not edited it yet. The whole reason I'm doing this today is so, because I have to send the quilt out. I just found out from Bernina they need the quilt FedExed out tomorrow. So I'm trying to get this done. I was gonna do it later in the week. Now, I will be having I do have some Botanica leftover, not enough for kits, but I will be making bundles of Botanica available on my website just for you guys who want a little bit of the Botanica and may not have a dealer. Um, I have to do that in the next two weeks before I begin traveling again. I do not know what day that will go public as usual. I will post it to my group. The same with some vibrancy kits. I have a very limited amount because I let the dealers do most of the kitting, um, but I will be posting that too. Now, oh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Joanne. She, Joanne just posted um, the skill uh, uh, the skill hub address. Okay, um, let's see. Well, let's see. I see. Thank you, Vanita. Um, I'm having trouble with my laptop. Everyone watching. Okay. Next, threads. Okay, so Wonderful provided some specialty threads for this project, which if you buy this serger, they are in your kit. Otherwise, you have to buy it separately. And what's causing a little confusion right now is a couple of the threads, because they specially dyed this new color for Bernina at Wonderful, a couple of the threads aren't on Wonderful's site, but they do exist, and it's not a typo. I have a ton of people writing me that I have a typo on the thread number. I do not have a typo on the thread number. They just haven't been listed. To be honest, we were just flabbergasted how many of you are interested in sewing this quilt, like totally taken by surprise. So um, you guys can, um, dealers, you can order from Brewer or Wonderfill for the threads. Okay. It's not a typo on the thread number. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, Skill Hub is a new platform Bernina's rolling out um, to provide education on machines for customers. And so that's why this class lives over there. Um, so that's kind of a new thing if you haven't heard about it. Um, uh, anyway, okay, so foreign markets. I'm getting a lot of you writing for me from Australia. By the way, I'm so excited to see you later in the year. And New Zealand, I might be excited to see you too, but I can't officially say anything yet. Um, but here's the deal in foreign markets. So I know we all think of Bernina as a big company, and it is, and it's a worldwide company. But this product was developed by Bernina of America. So Bernina of America paid me to write the pattern, right? So they own it. If you are in a foreign market, you what you what and you really want it, and there's enough of you, probably that would be an internal Bernina conversation. So your dealer, Bernina dealer, could probably ask Bernina of America. In other words, I can't sell it to the foreign markets. It would be Bernina of America that sells the pattern to the foreign markets. Does that make sense? So I don't know exactly how that's going to roll out. I don't know if it, if it will roll out. If there's enough interest, it probably would. If I hear anything, I will let you guys know. Otherwise, right now, the only way to get this pattern is from an American Bernina dealer because Bernina of America paid for the pattern. Does that make sense to you guys? Um, so I'm getting a lot of questions about that. Um, this is a commission piece, so I can't distribute a PDF, 
right? And it's not even, it would be such a big PDF. I honestly don't think they could deliver it as a PDF. As I said, it's 64 pages, right? And it's not that it's hard. It's that we put the machine settings on every, like when you get to a section, it says upper looper, lower looper, you know, left needle, right needle. And it says what all the threads you should have are. It shows the machine screen. It shows the foot. Uh, so it, it that just took up a lot of space. And then as usual, I always have a lot of drawings in my directions because that's all I pay attention to, right? Okay. Yeah. Contact your dealer for questions about Skill Hub. Remember, like, I, like I'm not a dealer. So I don't, although I see some stuff with Bernina because I work with them so closely, I don't have access to the things dealers would have access to. Okay. So your dealer can definitely help you with all this. Um, and, but remember, if you tell your dealer you want the fabric and they're willing to order the fabric, it's just going to be a few weeks. We can wait. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Magnita saying the photos, the instructions and the photos are ex expertly done in the pattern. Thank you. Like we tried to make it for someone like me, which I am a novice on the serger. I keep telling you guys, I get a lot of you write me and say, why don't you do lessons on the serger? I don't know that you want me doing lessons on the serger. I probably know about as much as any beginner serger person, right? Um, I am going to do a video of how I put on binding though. But as for like the creativity of how these stitches were used, et cetera, that was all Pam. I'm just putting it together in a pattern. And what I was going for just aesthetically in this, I think Bernina, I mean, if you're owning a sewing machine at this point, for a hobby. That's a pretty privileged existence. I mean, this is a first world existence and it's a luxury item, right? We love our machines, um, but they, there are hobby iron items. And I think the technology in the machine is just so beautiful. And I always think Bernina needs to have both a sophistication to any product it launches because the machines are so well designed, right? And Swiss engineered. The projects need to have a sophistication, but they also need to kind of push the envelope a little bit, right? So aesthetically, I wanted this to push it to not, I actually did two versions. One was very um, traditional and this is the more modern version, but I wanted it to push the lip envelope on the type of, um, sewing that you can really do with a serger. Okay. So that gets me to my la next question. Then I'll show you some quilting and then we'll close and we'll ask you guys if you have any questions and we'll close it out. So, um, I have had a lot of people write me and say, can I piece this on my sewing machine? And the answer is sort of, and the reason why I say sort of is you could probably adapt it, the directions, you know, and sew it on your sewing machine. Yes. But there is a lot of detail in the way the threads are handled with exposed seams and like you make your own fabric sort of with the stitches and these specialty threads that you wouldn't get on a sewing machine. So it would look very, it wouldn't have the same detail. And you'll see what I mean when I pull it up close, right? Okay. So um, really it was designed for a serger, specifically for um the Bernina 8 Series Sergers, um, because, you know, we were trying to show you guys features and get you to have a little fun. Um, there is a fabric chart in it. If you wanted to use your own fabrics, you certainly could. Of course, I want you to use my fabrics, right? Because I want to stay in business, but you can use your own fabric, but it would work fine. And all the information is in the pattern. Okay. So your dealer is your point of contact for that. And foreign markets, it's either from an American dealer or you guys can see if, you know, ask your dealer if they can ask. It works a little com complex, but ask their distributor and they can see if they can get from Bernina of America because I don't have the rights to distribute. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, let me... show you guys what I mean about stitches, okay? Do you see how these are exposed serger stitches on the edge of the quilt? And then, you know, I went in and I quilted this. Don't worry too much about the quilting because I'm going to do a post for Bernina about this. 
But here are some exposed stitches. And because you have these exposed serger stitches, let me get to another portion. This is, do you see how sometimes I'm getting different effects by showing the serger stitches one way or the other way? And this is, of course, is the stitch. These are stitches you can do on the Bernina L series, right? So um, that is kind of how it works. And by the way, the pattern, I think the pattern is $30 retail. Um, but you can see how these work in this section over here. Um, we made fabric by doing chain stitches and doing overlock stitches, right? Um, over here, okay, um, we did, um, we inserted flanges in the quilt. Now, you'll notice some of the quilting, I basically give you the quilting directions in the pattern. But um, for this particular version of the quilt, I wanted to show you some extra things you could do. Like if you wanted to go above and beyond with the quilting um, and just add a little extra interest, that's what I showed you in this version of the pattern. So um, and that's what I'm going to do in my blog post is show you how I did this. So I just put a little extra quilting in. It's still the same basic quilting from the directions. I just put in like a little bit extra. Here again, we have exposed seams, right? But some of them are exposed and some of them aren't exposed. So, um, and I tell you how to do this in the pattern. And then we have some like free motion applique. Um, again, let me put on the thing for the whole quilt. Oh, this was it being quilted, you guys, on the frame. Right after I finished it, I took this photo, okay? So um, that's what it looks like on the frame. And there, once again, let me turn off this camera um, and go over here again. So um, I just wanted to give you an idea of what this program, what, oops, I have to go, what this program was um, and answer some questions about it because I'm really getting inundated with emails and I thought the easiest way is for me just to get online and tell you guys. So um, let's see, you can go on, you can see the classes without registering. Yeah, it's a very detailed course. Now, can you do the quilt? I know someone's going to ask me this. So can you go do the quilt without the Skill Hub pass, class? If you had the pattern, yes, technically you could. But the Skill Hub walks you through step by step. So you do learn a lot uh, more in the Skill Hub because you have basically an expert at Bernina walking you through making the whole thing. Like the whole thing is filmed. I don't know if you guys remember, but I was in at Bernina in December filming. And this is what I just filmed the intro for it. Um, Mary Beck was there for three days and filmed the class over three days, right? I didn't even do that. Um, so anyway, that, uh, that I hope answers all your questions. Um, I think that's it. Um, I think in about another week and a half, I have another live Thankful Thursday. And if you guys have more questions at that point, you can ask or you can ask in my Facebook group right now or on my contact form. But I hope I covered a lot of the questions you guys have. The quilting is done on my Q16 or Q20. Gaia, um, you could do the quilting. Really, the instructions are written for any machine. It's very basic quilting. Even a be uh, beginner can do it. I added some extra flair to mine because I wanted to give you options. And I did quilt mine on a frame. It doesn't mean it has to be quilted on a frame. I was just pressed for time right? And I had to get it filmed really fast. Um, Joanne, did I miss any other questions? Um, I don't think I did. Um, if I usually don't watch this, these a lot, because I honestly can't keep track of them. And it's like torture to watch yourself. But if you guys have questions, please come into my Facebook group or contact me or something. Or if it's, you know, a question about how you, you can get the fabrics, et cetera, contact your dealer they, and or the pattern. Contact your dealer, right? They are your, um, just because I can't really do anything about that. That's, that's all them. Okay? So I hope you guys have a great day today. And I will see you in like a week and a half and we'll do some live quilting again. 
um, at the regular Thankful Thursday time. Again, if you don't follow me, please follow me on YouTube. That's Amanda Murphy Design is my channel. Uh, or on Instagram at Amanda Murphy Design or Facebook at the group Quilting with Amanda Murphy. Um, thanks. And I hope you guys have a good day.